Hello, welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary. I'm not sure if this will be in the take for this firearm or not, but I have a, a DB9 here, Diamondback, Diamondback Firearms. It's like a little mini nine of theirs. And um, I needed to get some more range footage of it. I don't know if I'm impressed with it or not yet. I'm dip, well, I'm not impressed with it. I don't know what my thoughts are, but I'm kind of, I don't know. We'll see, but I need to get some more rounds through it. I might put this together as a video at the house and cut into these scenes, so I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to load her up and give her a try, so um, I'll see if I can reorient the camera to catch both me and the targets there, so all right. All right, it is a six-round magazine, and I only have one magazine. That's all it comes with, and I'm not convinced to buy another one yet, so here we go. I uh, 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 can't even tell where I'm at. Things bouncing all over the place. So it has a lot of kick for its size, and there's guns that are similar size with that don't uh, recoil as bad as this one. So uh, all right. <laughs> oh, I'll give it a few more. I am aiming super, super high with this thing. Holy cow. Super high. Like the uh, the sights are lined up and like an inch or two above the target. <sighs> Crazy. It's about to get dark. I got here a little late, so... Oh, I had a bunch of other footage I wanted to do, but I'll probably have to do it tomorrow. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't even tell. I am holding it as steady as I can. But man, this thing shakes all around in my hand. It's so thin and light. I don't know. It might be good for somebody else, but I'm not feeling it for me. Oh, I don't know. It's a neat little firearm, though. I mean, for the size and stuff and the shape of it. It just... It's not working out for me. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably do the video at the house, so. And I am going to add some stuff here at the house on this firearm, the DB9. So this pistol, um, I picked it up really hoping that it would perform at least somewhat close to, say, the Glock 43. Um, and other firearms like that, but it doesn't, in my opinion. For me, it doesn't. Now, after evaluating this firearm, the and I've, I've had it to the range a couple times now. I've taken it apart and cleaned it a few times. Uh, this guy is, um, don't get me wrong, uh, quality-wise, I don't see any issues with it. Um, it has some great sights and everything. Um, yeah, but for my grip, I can't hold this thing real well. It shakes all over my hand when I shoot it. And I don't know if it's just because when I grip it, I have a gap, which you might not be able to see right here. And it just gives it a lot of room for movement. It is almost just too thin. Um, 
and stuff. There's no kind of roundness to it. It's just a flat um, handle there on both sides. The other thing I don't like about it is this trigger pull. And I have some footage from the first time I was at the range. And I'll show you here. And I want you to watch it uh, when I present it. I'll, I'll show you what I'm pointing at. But it, uh, a lot of it has to do with this trigger pull. Which you might have caught it in that first half of this video. So I have it set up right now. It's ready to go. And watch this. So look at that. That's how much trigger pull before you feel any really resistance. Now watch when it when it um, when you hear it fire. Right there. The trigger is nearly against the back. And then here's the reset. Right there. Right there. So all this trigger pull. And it's just it's just easy pull and there's no resistance or anything now for a little pocket pistol I'm I would expect there to be more resistance on the trigger than that there's no safety that your trigger resistance is going to be your safety now if this is a thing where this kind of looseness is a safety feature um, I'm not interested in it um, both times well three times officially I have it at the range but the two I have footage of the first time I shot it I didn't take any footage of it because I figured I was just getting used to it um, you'll see me kind of have it aim down sight and then I kind of jerk because I think I'm not used to this sloppy of a trigger until you get to the point where you start feeling resistance. So now maybe some people prefer that. Not me. That's why I'm saying this guy is not for me. The, 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 the things I, that make it impossible for me to use is one the handle being so thin no bulkiness to it so it moves around my hand that trigger pull is just unreal for me and then the kick on this thing i don't know um you know my glock 43 doesn't seem to kick as bad as this guy does and it's not that it's the really relatively the same size so it just kicks all over the place and maybe that's because of the hand grip is kicking all over so that may be a combination those two features together um, giving me the issue but that trigger pull man I mm -mm. I can't do it I can't do it so you know I'd be interested to know if you have a DB9 if you like it let me know if that gives you a problem or if, if getting this grip on there gives you a problem I don't know if it's because of the shape of my hands I mean I don't have massive hands but I don't have small hands either. I would say they're uh, upper mid-grade size. <laughs> so I don't know what the gauge is for hands. But um, yeah. But I just can't. I just cannot get a grip on this thing that prevents it from just bouncing all over the place in my hands when I shoot it. And then this trigger thing makes me jerk when I, you know, I'm getting ready to shoot, and I'm like, I think, I think it's gonna, I, I, I preemptive the uh, do something. Um, because I'm used to my normal fire, the, the firearms I normally use for, for personal protection and concealed carry and all that. So, you know what, let me roll this other clip. This was the second time I was at the range and I got a couple clips from it. Let me roll that real quick and watch, watch my hand and you'll see me jerk. You'll see me jerk. And I've tried to, uh, you know, offset that. But then when I move back and shoot, my normal firearms and then I move back to this I do it again which I did in the first half of this video um, because that was a couple weeks later so anyhow let me roll that clip here it is Whew, here we go That's a little kick. Second bag, here we go. Man, that's a long trigger pull. All right, there you go. You saw that. So that's why I'm saying I, I'm saying this is not for me. I'm, I don't think it's. Um, a bad firearm per se as far as the quality goes 
and the uh, it's, it's fired every round I put through it. The reliability seems to be there. And granted, I've only put uh, maybe 150 rounds through it now, uh, but I haven't had a single feed issue or nothing. Uh, so, like I said, as far as that goes, this thing is, you know, it's pretty nice. It looks nice too, and it's compact. But like I said, I just cannot seem to get it to do what I need it to do. Uh, and you know, like I said, it bounces around in my hand, and that trigger pull is something. I cannot get used to, you know, I, I mean, my normal firearms, that doesn't exist. I feel resistance on everything, but this one, no, there's nothing. It's so easy to move it there. And then the pull is so weird right back in the back half there that, and the reset is weird. I don't know. So maybe it's something that if, if I, this is the one I trained on for, 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 you know, weeks on end, I would like it. But as of now, um, right out of the box, especially after, um, getting my Taurus GX four, which I don't know if you've seen that video. If you watch that video, I like that thing right out of the box. I was shooting fine with it. There was a few adjustments I'll probably have to do if I put it in my normal, uh, uh you know, routine of concealed carry and personal defense but i mean right out of the box i was hitting targets and stuff this guy mm -mm. so uh, i don't know that's my thoughts on it but as of right now the db9 is not for me if you have one and you like it please leave a comment down in the comment section um if you've shot one and you you can relate to the issues that i've been having let me know uh, i'd be interested because um like i said right now i'm leaning then it's not going to be a, a piece that I uh, apply to any form of my home offense, personal offense, self-defense um, preparation. So, all right. That's my video. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, y'all have a good day.